We are back and we are up, up and away. Um, <laughs> by the way, do people say bye bye? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> We're back with flight attendant Sarah Cagle, Patty Broughton, and Bobby Laurie, and we left with that subject of okay, please turn off your electronics. Yes. Um, you know, everything that has a switch, an on or off switch, the yes. whole thing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Everything. They have to be off. Yes. yes. Why? <laughs> yeah. Why? Why? Well, there is okay. interference with um, electronics, some electronics. I've talked to pilots who say there is, but there's no way the FAA can keep up with every single electronic. I mean, things are new in two weeks, right? So how can yeah. they do And not everybody everything? does it. A lot of people cheat. I see yeah. them. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. do. Very true. So, yeah. um, but you were saying at the break that the reason why, because uh, what you asked about the, the yeah, if the Direct TV can be on yeah, during right. takeoff, why right. can't my iPod? Well, because the in-flight entertainment system is an aircraft system, so if something were to happen, we can turn it off. And if you're listening to the TV, our announcements will override whatever you're watching. But if you're listening to your own iPod or you're watching your own movie, you can't hear our announcements necessarily. Right. Here's what, here, I will say this, and I'm gonna ask you about your pet peeves here in a second, but it bothers <laughs> me when people don't listen to your instructions and say turn uh, it off. Mm -hmm. And they'll be on my, their phone and they'll get warned three or four mm -hmm. times and I just wanna say, yep. Put down the words with friends. Well, at least, okay. at, least, at, least, at least hide it. Alex when I'm walking down the aisle, right? At least yeah. hide it on me. Don't sit there to still do. My it favorite out. is that people turn it on like um, they just put it on standby and they're yeah. like, okay, it's off. It's like you know, flight attendants own phones too. Right, right. We right, know right. that right. that's not the off button. Right. I have they're, people they're, tell me it doesn't turn off. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's it. Are they going to pass that ordinance where you can actually use your cell phone and talk? Uh, and I fight? Hope not. I, I, I hope not either because right. you've been on a bus with people. Yeah. I've been on, I've been on a Plane with three women sitting in back of me that chatted the whole like an hour, and I asked the steward, stewardess to please, can you please ask them just to you know take it down a notch. They didn't do it, and the passengers were all looking. I finally stood up in my seat and I went, oh, yeah, shut up. <laughs> really loud. There, I thought they were going. I said, I don't want to know about your son. I don't want to know about your apartment that you're buying. It's just speakers, be quiet. Yeah. I'm going to say, you know, that also happens it with happens. with uh, kids and DVD players. They yes. forget yes. that everyone else can hear you yeah. player. Bring headphones. Yeah. What is uh, some of the pet peeves, the things, the difficulties that you guys face? Yes. Any stories? Ooh. Well, bug worst you. story. Worst one. that one. bug you? The worst story? Uh huh. I don't know if I have a worst. I mean, I have a very strange story I can tell you. Go ahead. If you want, if you want to yeah. hear that. It's um, recently. I mean, it's a really long story. I'll make it short. I had a couple aboard the airplane with a teddy bear, and the teddy bear was fastened into their seatbelt with them. Oh, and um, all right, these are these are adults. Okay. And this woman ordered uh, scotch on the rocks for me, so I brought a scotch on the rocks. Two minutes later, she ordered another one and another one. And the guy sitting across the aisle, the guy sitting across the aisle gets up and comes over and he says, "Do you know where that's going?" And I was like, "No." The teddy bears were drinking the scotch. She was pouring it into the teddy bear's mouth, and of course, it was going through the plush and all over them. So I went over and I was like, "You know, um, maybe we should switch to water." And she looked down at the teddy bear. She goes, "We've been cut off." Oh, and I was oh, like, the teddy bear. And I was like, oh, but okay, but maybe we should, you know, water will be good. And she goes, oh, it's okay. I have a wheelchair waiting for them when we get there. Oh. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. Well. So, so then I, I went over to her husband because I was like, okay, maybe this. Okay. So I went over to her husband and I was like, so do the teddy bears go everywhere? And he goes. Everywhere they go, everywhere, oh, okay. and they always sit in first class. Well, oh, okay. Wow. Well. <laughs> Do you have any what? pet peeves? Like miners who watch people walk out of the restroom in their bare feet Ooh. or socks. Yes. I think what about you. I think I, the, my biggest pet peeve is yoga mm. in the galley. Okay, that's our <laughs> that's our workspace. It's called Yoga Galley. We, yoga. we hate it. That's our workspace. It's like I don't come to your desk and stand right. beside you and do my yoga. You know? <laughs> so please don't come and do it. I'm no, you're trying to lunch and sorry, someone's bending down in front of you. And I usually like, oh. bend down though waiting for the restroom. Is that okay? You've got to stretch. I can't. You've been stretching, but least, I'm talking about lengthy times. Oh. I will at least charm them and tell them good stories while that's, I'm doing it. Oh, I'll see, right. that's perfect. We love if that. If I can juggle, I would juggle. We love that. I think that that's perfectly You know, it's okay to do. There's something There's something that on that that on the website that Patty and I both wrote on, we, we call it Jetiquette. And it's yes. etiquette that passengers can use on the airplane to make the experience better for everyone. Like what? And there's stuff just like that. Like, putting on your shoes in the bathroom. Mm. There's not putting your feet on the tray table and remembering oh. that people eat off the tray table. Yeah. So someone who oh. changes someone who changes their 
baby on the tray table on the next flight, just like we talked about earlier, that's not necessarily cleaned after every flight. So on the next flight, someone's eating off the tray table that you just changed your baby on. Right. So it's stuff like that. People change a diaper yes. on a that's tray table. That's very common. And in the seat that's back common? Pocket, that's yes. common. And then they, they put the diaper in the seat back pocket. Yeah. Do they do caca pants or just uh, <laughs> <laughs> caca pants? I mean, yeah. that's a, that's I, you know, when they a, change the baby if they do yeah. number two? Yeah. That's a, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Well, they'll hand us the diaper and say, it's just wet. Oh, it's just, yeah. it's just <laughs> what I have right. read recently, though, that the dirtiest part of the airplane is really the pocket in the seat because mm -hmm. people put their vomit mm -hmm. bags and their mm -hmm. diapers. I, my hand went and vomit once. Snot rags. Oh, and oh, oh right. I guess there's vomit. my yeah, there's oh. mine. <laughs> How do you handle? Uh, uh, unruly or passengers that have or even teddy bears that have had too much to drink <laughs> as a team honestly you know yes, i think yeah. that that's probably the first thing that we all learn when we go through flight attendant training is you work together so if there's someone who's being unruly it could just be i mean it could be a personality conflict they might just not like me so i might tell patty hey you might want to go talk to them maybe they'll respond better to you but if they really get out of control you formulate a plan as a team and then of course clue the captain in since they can't come out cut them off days. sure and yeah you know, work together. Well, you know, we're seeing more and more of the viral videos kind of pop up, people yes. on the plane doing yes. things and yeah. entertaining. Yeah. Good, bad. Doesn't, Does bother it doesn't bother you guys, it's not you against know, policy. No, well, it's, a, I mean, if we were to record the video, it'd yeah. be against yeah. policy, but, yeah. but the passengers, the passengers can do what they want. Yeah, yeah they can they, do what they want. And the captains can't come out anymore to talk to people while no. they're flight, no. 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 Most of them do it during boarding now. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Which, know, that's who we actually used to go to for help a lot of the times if we had an unruly passenger. They asked the first officer to come out and help us, but that's but not that's anymore. anymore. No. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you guys oh, so much for coming by. Still have a million wear more questions. Wear your shoes to go in the <laughs> For more <laughs> inside information on the travel industry, you can pick up Sarah's book, which is called The Flight Attendant Survival Guide, and check out Patty and Bobby's website, SavvyStews.com.